Capricorn. Welcome to your October 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So what is the central theme of Capricorn's reading today? Divine timing and balance. So the central theme is to find the right time to do things. Everything has divine timing. If you're going to write a letter or communicate to somebody, you have to do it in the right time. And it's a period of balancing, of grace, of ch growth, communication, good communication. Capricorn. 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 Hey, I see that you get a victory. We have the six of wands in the upright. So I see you winning and people are cheering you on. People are rooting for you. They're very happy for you. And yeah, you're marching in on your white horse and there's definite like good way to go that's awesome people are cheering you on I see you releasing burdens you're coming out of pain there's two endings here two completions they go hand in hand there's a lot of um, energy here a lot of en enthusiasm, a lot of passion, a lot of communication, a lot of uh, logic and reason. And there's two completions. I see you having the, the ability to give. I see generosity. We have another six, and so now we have two sixes. And that's growing. Sixes are growing. Be careful. I see a loss of money or a loss of health. It de something declines. You may give too much. You may have gave too much. I see you giving up. You may have gave too much and you're just giving up. There's a lot of conflict here. Like you're giving, but you're not giving from your heart. You're giving because you have to. Yeah, there's toxicity. This is your energy. This is Capricorn. This is the devil. There's addictions and toxicity. There's communication. Very good communication. There's friendship here. But there's a lack of teamwork. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a friendship, but there's a lack of teamwork. It could be with the Leo. I see ultimately you're joyous. The sun shines light. Everything comes out of the shadows. There's nothing to hide. You see things for what they truly are and you're happy and you've grown and you've um, finished this lesson. And you step into your power 
see you stepping into your power. What's going to hold you back is not letting go, death reversed, a refusal to let go, a loss of hope, only thinking about yourself, being physically or verbally abusive, being narcissistic. So I see that you should write somebody at the right time. It's all about good timing and balancing. If you're in an imbalanced relationship, you need to balance out your relationship because I, I feel like you feel this is an imbalanced relationship. It starts off with your victorious and people are cheering you on and rooting you on. And this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. You can see this, like take what I'm saying and put it to finances, put it to health, whatever you're, tr you're trying to see. If we're talking about finances, it's paying things, writing things out, investing in divine timing and having balance in your investments. I see that you have victory and growth and things come to a completion and you release your burdens and you come out of pain and your money grows. But then I see you lose money because you give too much. I see you giving up and you could be investing in some sort of addiction or toxic toxicity there's a clear effective communicator it could be a counselor you could go see counseling and you develop a friendship but there's a lack of teamwork you get to invite the financial advisor and you get this little party but there's a lack of long-term financial planning but I do see that the money does return your finances go back to normal towards the end of November. And I see you like being able to run a business in your sleep. You step into your power. You become ambitious. There, there's a little bit of conflict with your addictions, but if you can conquer that, if you can conquer your addictions, I see you bypassing the lack of teamwork and going straight towards the sun, towards this good fortune. And what's hindering you is refusing to let go of the past, a loss of hope, and being too self-centered. If we're talking about a job, it's all in divine timing. You can take that and put it to relationships. You can just reverse and instead of money, we're talking about relationships. Instead of relationships, we're talking about health. With your health, it's planning out your diet, balancing, don't be imbalanced, don't go veg vegan, don't go keto or carnivore, find balance in between and you will be victorious. Your burdens will be released you'll let go of pain, your health will improve, but what will deteriorate your health is giving up, going back into bad habits, drinking too much. You might have to see a counselor because your health is deteriorating, but once you work on it, once you rebuild it, I see like going into November, you might, you might want to eat a lot of eggs. Eggs are something that could really benefit you. If you are vegan, you may be protein deficient and you may need some eggs. 
eggs will be very beneficial to, her, to you and it's going to help you to regain your health. And I see you ultimately getting into your power and being strong. All right, Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful October.